What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Piss Out Flow Studios. I'm back in the house with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a lens flare using Adobe Lightroom. And this is going to be pretty easy. It's going to be a, a short tutorial. And um so we're gonna go ahead and just get to it. Right now, this is one of my photos uh, from my bridal session. This is just pretty much like straight out the camera. And I thought it would be a good photo to use for this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a lens flare to this photo in Lightroom. No Photoshop needed. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up here to your radio filter. I'm gonna click that. Okay, so next thing you wanna do is just drag out a circle and make it real big. think that'll work and you want to make sure your feather you want to have a soft um, you want to make sure your edges are soft so you want your feather to be pretty high right now I have my feather at 50 uh, you can go higher if you want to and the next thing you want to do you want to check this where it says um, invert mask you want to check that and then what I'm going to do now is just up the exposure. Go all the way up to maybe, let's try 1.5. And then I'm going to turn my highlights down so we can see um, the clouds. We'll see more of the clouds. We don't want it to be just like pure white. So I'm going to bring my highlights down to maybe negative 64. And the next thing I want to do is I want to warm this up. <clears throat> we kind of want it to look like, you know, that that color you get uh, during golden hour. So we want the we want it to look warm. Okay, so you want to go up here to where it says temp, and you want to move that slider all the way to the right to warm it up. Okay, so I'm going to stick with about. 67 <clears throat> and I'm gonna also change my tint uh, right now right now it is warm how I want it it's kind of yellowish but I want to add a little bit of uh, magenta to it too so I'm just gonna move my slider where it says tent you know you want to move that slider to the right just a little bit I'm gonna say maybe about 20 about 29 and that's really about it so I'm going to show you the before and after this is before this is after before after and you, you can even make this bigger if you want to So before, after. So you have a nice little lens flare. Didn't have to use Photoshop. This was all done in Lightroom. And I'm just gonna click done. So yeah, that's it guys. Just wanted to give you guys a quick tip. I wanna thank you for watching. Um, make sure if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, tell your friends, tell your friends to tell their friends. Again, thank you for watching. This is Stanley Parrish, Pierce Out Flow Studios, and I'll see you next time.